Uh, so Professor Liu is going to teach you uh, class one number three. Uh, we create a program to read the data from a file into an array. But this is the two-dimensional array. We have uh, three division and four quarters. So each division and you have quarter one, quarter two, quarter three, quarter four data. We're going to read them. And we find the sum of the number, smallest number and largest number. First, you download these two files first. And you know, let's take a look. I am going to open it up, hmm, the data file. It's okay. Let me open up the data file. Uh, not this one. <clears throat> okay. Not here. So let me open up the data file first, okay? So first, let's open up the data file right here. And that will be cells 2, is that right? Cells 2. So I'm going to open the cells 2 with a uh, word pad, okay? So once I open up right here, okay? So it is a two-dimensional array. It is two-dimensional array. And how many row here? How many row here? Can you tell me? How many row? Anybody? Three row. How many colon? How many colon? Yeah. So this is actually three by four uh, double array. Three by four array. Okay. So uh, by just looking at it, we know the largest number is 56, something like here. The smallest number will be this one by looking at that. But now we need to write as program right now. Okay, so we're coming back right here. Coming back right here, and uh, um, this is your uh, uh, project explorer window. You need coming right here. You need to put yourself to here. Okay, now uh, for this one, uh, make sure you. Uh, declare a smallest smallest number okay set the uh we don't we do let me put right here i'm going to uh declare the uh, variable okay um declare uh smallest as a variable we're going to declare that and we also declare the largest So right here, we declare smallest and largest. And we do the exact same thing. We need to, imp we need to include our F string. So we open our cells to that data. If not there, it's error opening the file. Else, else we are going to make sure we, um, uh, we do show points at position two in nicely. Then we are going to read the data. Uh, so we read the data into a uh, three by four array into here. Once I read the data, I close the file here. Now I can set I can set the largest uh, number as the first element of the array. All right. I did not uh, first. I I did not set. I I I was set at the very beginning. I did not read the data yet. So we set the smallest as the first element of the array. All right. We set like that. Now we are going to do this. We starting from the second one. So we save some time. Starting from second one. And we check if any one greater than that, that's new largest. If any one smaller than that, that's a new smallest. And we are going to display the largest and the smallest. All right. So we let's run the program right now. So we build it. And we start without debugging. Start without debugging. So we are able to print this number out and the largest number uh, is uh, something uh, hold on is 56 something right here the smallest is 
25. Okay, so we are going to check 54, 56. All right, so let's check the largest number, 2. Okay, so let me see right here. So that will be the largest is that 0, 0. Okay, now uh, anybody who get the largest number correct right now? Okay, we are able to get the largest number. We first time get largest number correct, right? Let's see, 56. Okay. All right. So here, this right now. Uh, this has to be zero. Yes, this has to be zero. Yes, Perry. Yes. So um, division, division. Yeah, let's start from zero. Okay, let's start from zero. Yeah, let's do it right that right away. So it'll be zero zero. Let's try. It. So let's build it and start without debugging. Now we are correct right now. Yes. Okay. Yeah. We're going to set from the zero and to compare. So the mistake I did it was so obvious and but I I I did not pay attention. So you need to pay attention is you, you cannot initialize the the element without without reading. You have to read them first. After you have the data, then you can initialize. Otherwise, you got zero, zero. That's why when the first one, we always get greatest one is okay. Because we set, be, that's before we read it, that was zero, zero here. We set here. So that's zero, zero. That's why it's easier to find the largest one. But once we set these to zero, everybody is smaller than that so you couldn't get anything unless you get negative number so we were throwing a negative number and we're negative number so do you understand this program yes or no i i hope you like this uh program okay